is up guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Morgan and if you're new make sure you subscribe and turn on my post notifications to see my videos every single week and my YouTube shorts every single day. So in today's video I'm doing an updated what's on my iPhone 15. So let's get into the video. Obviously I did this video about five months ago when I got the phone and when it came out and I did an unboxing and I did a what's on my iPhone but I never gave my opinions on it, gave an update and the other day I rearranged my phone, I have a proper phone case now, I have a phone charm and everything. Plus who doesn't love seeing what's on people's phones? Starting off I have the iPhone 15 in the color blue. This is 256 gigabytes and the case I currently have is from Casetify. It obviously matches the color of my phone, it's blue, it's flowers, it's pretty. Not so but I love case by cases. I have one on my last phone and I never once smashed it or anything. But just in case, I also have a screen protector on my phone. And for ages, I was wanting one of these little phone charms. I finally got one like a month or so ago. It's really long. This is from Typo. But I love it because it's really colorful. It says text me back and it has stars and flowers and butterflies on it, which is so very me, if you don't know. Yeah, I feel like my phone's just very, very aesthetic. Drop my phone, doesn't go anywhere. My phone is like my baby, as we know. I'm on my phone pretty much constantly because my job is on here. Starting off, here is my lock screen. The current theme we have gone with is gold. My last theme was orange. I did that around Halloween and then I just kept it until a few days ago. And I finally decided I should do something completely different. Found my wallpaper on Pinterest. I just searched up gold aesthetic wallpaper. This came up, bunch of cute photos very royal aesthetic. And then I've customized my screen. I have the date, the time, it's all in white. And then I have TikTok and Spotify and the weather as well on my lock screen because those are the things that I would use the most. I actually have the Spotify and TikTok on there because they're aesthetically pleasing on my lock screen. I don't spend a whole lot of time looking at it. Going on to my phone, we have the very first page, which is still aesthetic gold. My home screen is the exact same as my lock screen. I've just blurred it out. There is a feature when you switch over all of your wallpapers where you you can make your home screen the exact same as your lock screen and you can blur it out or you can keep it the exact same. So first up I have a widget on the top. This has the date, the time and then the photo I've also found on Pinterest. This is using the app Color Widgets. I go in here, there are so many options of color widgets. You can choose the photo in the background you want. You can choose whatever aesthetic you want because I feel like we're definitely in the white and gold theme. My second widget that I have which is using Widget Smith, I use that for all my photo widgets. This is Fight for Your Fairy Tale because obviously I love fiction, I love fictional worlds, I love books. I think this was on my last what's on my iPhone because I haven't changed it. And then I have all my apps but I don't actually use all of the aesthetic apps. They're just there for the purposes of making my little phone look pretty. I use the app library when I'm trying to choose something. Going on to page number two, I have a medium size widget using Widgetsmith as well. I found all of my photos, all of my widgets on Pinterest and then I've just added them to Widgetsmith or Color Widgets. This one is also very much like me, fictional world. It says to the readers who look up at the stars and wish, which I thought was very, very cute. And then I have another set of gold photos. These photos, if you couldn't tell, they're repetitive. Moving on to page number three, which is actually one that I've custom and this I've kept the same but I've just changed up the stuff that's on it. So I have my Spotify which will display my last album. So the last album I was playing was Atlas 1 by Sleeping At Last. I actually need to make a bunch more playlists because I just feel like I don't have enough or I need to edit my playlist. But the ones that I have that are significant are Fictional Heartbreak, Leap Just Has My White Noise, Raindrops On My Skin is like my sad playlist. I've downloaded A Lover by Taylor Swift. Sun Through My Window is very like happy sun is shining through my window vibes. I've downloaded Stick Season by Noah Khan. My gym playlist because I go to the gym. In My Black Dress, very LED light vibes. Atlas 2, I'm a really big Sleeping At Last fan. I love his music so much. I've played Disney hits at some point and then I just have a bunch of Taylor Swift albums saved because I'm a Swifty. <laughs> the next widget is a Widget Smith one. This is a photo of me, Aya and Crystal in Miami. I thought it was appropriate because Miami. My second widget photo is me, O'Shea, Aya and Wynn at Aya's 21st the other day. I've chosen these photos because they're with my friends and they're really happy memories. Plus they're some of my more recent photos and I didn't want to have all the photos in them. And then I have Pinterest. I was muddling about with this earlier and I accidentally lost the board that was displayed 
made, which was my life vision board, and instead Pinterest has decided it's gonna have a random drawing, but it suits the theme. I think this is because when I was on Pinterest yesterday, I was in a drawing mood and I was looking at drawings, so maybe I'll recreate that later. And then moving on to my app library, everything that I use, every app that I have, I use the app library, I don't really use my home screen, every single app that I have. And I'm gonna go through them all for you now. Ignoring the first two because those are just the random ones that will suggest for you, which is the suggestions, which is my most recent opened app, and recently added. So starting off my first folder and what I would deem to be the most important is my social media folder. So in here we have Facebook, FaceTime, Instagram. Here's my Instagram, go give me a follow. I've been using this a lot more recently. I post a reel almost every day if these wanna load. I post dance reels and then whenever I go out and do something and I take photos, I will do a photo post. While we're here, I'm actually gonna go and get rid of this reel for my profile grid because it's not actually supposed to be there. Instagram changed their settings the other day. I use Instagram so much, it's probably one of my most used apps. It's definitely one I've used the most data on. I have Life360, which I don't use. Linktree, which I use as my website link on Instagram, TikTok, so that everybody can see all of my social media and important information all in one pretty profile. iMessage, Messenger, Phone, Snapchat, which I really don't use anymore. All I use it for is to see my streaks because I'm way too invested to let them go. Telegram, which I only really used for the TikTok live fest event and to contact my live manager on. Threads, which I used for the first three days that it came out, just like everybody else. TikTok, probably the most important app on my phone. I would love to say that it's not, but it definitely is. I use TikTok the most. My TikTok profile, everything, verified, 500,000 followers. My recent videos, I love them. I do also post all of my TikToks to YouTube Shorts, so if you don't like TikTok, you can see all my YouTube Shorts. But I do also live stream on TikTok every night at 9 p.m. New Zealand time. Be there, or I don't know what you're doing. And I have 232 drafts, which is really fun. We're definitely not going to go through those. <laughs> Moving on to the next folder, which is photo and video. I have my camera. I have Canva, which I use for all my thumbnails. And just in case I need them on my phone, I have the app downloaded. CapCut, I use to edit all of my short form vlogs, short form content, little snippets that I want to put on my Instagram stories. Clips, DJI Mimo, which is actually for this. A friend sent this to me wonderfully. Giphy, so that I can send GIFs in comment sections. HP Sprocket because I have an HP Sprocket, but I don't have any photo paper. Lens Buddy I use to do multiple photos for my Instagram if I'm taking photos by myself. Lightroom is the app that I use to filter all of my Instagram photos, all my photos in general. It's my favorite editing app. Bonto I use to do the uh, titles of my thumbnails, the text on my thumbnails, my photos, Snapseed, and most importantly, I feel like this should be in the social category, but YouTube Studio. It shows me all of my analytics. We just hit 27,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. And it also keeps me up to track with how close I am to being monetized as well in the earn category down below. Folder number three has been deemed entertainment. So in this I have Disney Plus, Famous Birthdays, iTunes Store, Music, Neon, Netflix, Prime, Spotify, Free Now, Apple TV, TVNZ, and YouTube. Out of all of these, I obviously use Spotify, but I only actually have subscriptions for Disney Plus and Prime Video, Utilities, App Store, Calculator, Clock, Color Widgets, which I use to do all of my app icons on my home screen. This app is amazing. You can go and select any icons you want, any theme you want. So obviously I've gone through and I've selected a gold theme. I have Compass, Find My iPhone, Magnifier, Mirabella Genie, which is for my sunset lamp. NZ Post in case I have any packages arriving and I want to track them. Settings and voice memos. Next up I have productivity and finance. ANZ which is my banking app. Calendar, contacts, Google Docs, Google Drive, Dropbox, files, Gmail, Google Calendar which I have still have not used. I have Google Sheets which has been offloaded. Mail which apparently I have 14,000 emails that I haven't opened but that's because I use the Gmail app and not the mail app. Two degrees mobile because I switched phone companies and I'm now with two degrees so I can be on my mum's phone plan because I pay for it. Notes, PayPal, Reminders, Wallet and Widgetsmith which I use for all my photo widgets on my home screen. Other folder I have Duolingo. I'm on like a 400 day Duolingo streak. I'm trying to learn Spanish and I have obviously been trying to learn for the past 400 days. Fishdom which is the current game that I've been playing. It's really fun. It's one of those like matchy up games like Candy Crush. LTK Creator, Marvel Master is another game, Pinterest, Smart 
Night Life. I don't actually know what this app is. Subway Surfers. Next up, we have the travel section. So we have Airbnb, AT Mobile, which is obviously Auckland Transport because I live in Auckland, New Zealand. Bus app, which was the transport app for Wellington. Gas Buy shows you the cheapest petrol prices nearby. Lime Scooter app, Maps. Ola, Parkmate, which shows you the cheapest parking lots in the area. Snapper, which is my bus card for Wellington. And Uber. Going on to information and reading, I can't click onto this folder, but in it has weather, Apple Books, because I am such a big reader, BuzzFeed, because sometimes I like to do BuzzFeed quizzes. And I think this is the Translate app. Shopping, all the fun little shopping apps. American Eagle slash Erie, Afterpay, Apple Store, Hot Non, Glassens, LTK, Mecca, No Leaming, Princess Polly, Rewards, which is the new Woolworths reward system, Sephora, The Warehouse, and Westfield, which is the malls in the area and I have it so that I can get free parking. Food and drink. So these are all food delivery apps because sometimes I'm lazy and I get food delivered even though I could just drive. Deliver Easy, Domino's, DoorDash, Hell Pizza, KFC, McDonald's, Pizza Hut and Uber Eats. Final folder is Health and Fitness. So this has, find out, oh it's the fitness app. Okay. And then I have the health app which I don't use and then City Fitness because that is my gym. So. And that was a rundown of everything on my iPhone 15 in 2024. Really quick, really simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe, turn on my post notifications, follow all of my social media, which will be in the description box down below, and give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video.